All right, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning the channel today. Um, today we're gonna talk about pulling your camper with the short bed truck. I've had a lot of questions on that. And, you know, for me, um, it, it's just kind of knowing how far you can turn. But also, y'all know I was running the Sidewinder with the fifth wheel before. Really like that setup, it works great. I've got the fifth wheel Sidewinder there on my shop floor. I'll turn the camera around and show that to you real quick. That's what the Sidewinder looks like. You're basically moving that pivot point back. And so I can make a full 90 degree turn with my RV because this, this turret pivots back here. And it does not pivot up there at the bottom of the Sidewinder because if you look, there's a little cam right here that you, you adjust. You can screw this in and out, which will slide this wedge forward and backwards. So if you don't want to use this, you can put two bolts back here and lock the Sidewinder out and just use a standard hitch and you can run this wedge back. You can unbolt the wedge completely and move it here and uh, use it as a standard pin if you want, um, totally up to you. But with this in a short bed, you don't have to worry about the corner of your camper right here, making contact with the back of the cab back there. And as y'all know on the Super Duties, if you make contact with your back windshield and that corner, it gets very expensive because these are aluminum. Aluminum cannot be repaired. And so a lot of times they'll have to reskin the whole side of the truck, which I mean, that's removing the interior. It's a very expensive thing. So probably don't want that to happen. So if you can avoid it, best situation. So for me, I switch trucks pretty often. I rotate in and out of different vehicles. And, you know, a lot of times with the fifth wheel hitch, I, I love the fifth wheel and the sidewinder setup. But again, I'm having to figure, reconfigure the legs on the hitches, depending whether I'm driving a Ford, a Ram, or a GM. And so I really wanted to go to the goose box style. Well, with the goose box, it does move it back a little bit. Some of those goose boxes are longer, so you're going to get a little more extension back. Um, some of the things you have to watch out for, I'm going to turn this around and show you. Okay, so the goose box pin box is actually longer. So from the center of your ball, you know, it's going to push your trailer back. Now it's not because you have an offset ball and moving it back. Cause if you're just, you know, if the ball, it, it's because the pin box is longer, but because the pin box is longer, one of the things that you can have an issue with, and you really have to pay attention to is your bed covers. Okay. Because when they build those, they want to get them back as far as they can, as long as they can but they also leave you a little bit of room right here on the edges so you don't hit your bedside. But when you add these bed covers, you know, you take about two inches away on each side. So it's, it's very likely I did the measurements. I should be within about an inch from mine here. Um, so, you know, there's another way to basically keep it from hitting the cab. And if you want to see what we're going to open today, I'm sure if you read the title, you know what it is. Let me flip this over real quick so I can tell the number. Okay, this is the Gen Y hitch for a Ford. It's a GH21001. Okay, now there's another manufacturer that makes an offset ball, but you kind of have to have their gooseneck installed. It doesn't really work with the factory prep kits. So Gen Y has made one of these, which is pretty awesome. So we basically have a plate, you know, because the, the brand that makes an offset ball has a square tubing. And so it basically you can slide it down that square tubing and that ball is not going to rotate. The problem is, is you have a round hole in these trucks. And so that ball would be able to rotate around, you know, if it was offset back. And so that's how they fixed it. If you look here, so you've got your pin release and that goes in the, the stock ball ball hole up there and then you bolt this plate on right there and that keeps this from turning and if you look it's gonna give me a five inch offset from here to here so let me get this bolted together and we'll get it put in show you what that looks like all right so that's your installed product get a little bit of rise out of it also it just drops in um, I did have to use a paint remover wheel and remove the paint the powder coat off the part that goes into the ball and uh, added some never sees to that that's optional but you know you put that thing in there and you have a hard time getting it out I definitely would recommend some never sees 
but it's a nice fit. Looks like a good product. Sits flush with the bottom of the truck. And when it pinned down, guys, it, it pinned down tight. That snap ring closed in. It's a good fit. All right, guys, like you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't done it. Thanks for watching the video. That's your five inch Gen Y extender. And then if you stay tuned, it didn't come in today, but tomorrow you're gonna see what goose box we're gonna put on the RV. Thanks again, catch you on the next video.